So if we need to tighten this chain because the chain's a little too loose, again, if it is too loose, it could fall off at some point. It's either gonna fall off your front chain ring or the rear gear back here, leaving you stuck. So if we need to pull tension, which means the whole two uh, bolts that are holding the wheel need to loosen up and then slide the wheel back. When we slide the wheel back, it's gonna put tension on this chain. So in order to do that, we're gonna take off, this is our little shifter unit right here. If you look down on the top, there's a little window, has a little yellow line with some white lines in there. So we need to take this off. It's actually just mounted to the tip of the bolt. So we're going to use, it's going to be a five millimeter Allen and we just need to loosen it a little bit. As you can see, it already popped off, but I'm gonna loosen it just a couple more turns so it's gonna be easy to put back on. And we're gonna let that rest right here. Remember, we got this little piece of metal, it's a spring, presses in and out. That's our shifting. That can slide out, so make sure it doesn't fall out, hit the floor, and you lose it. So that needs to stay there. So now we have access to the bolt, and then the other side over here, our bolt's right there. So we're gonna loosen these two bolts and the way this wheel likes to work is it likes to slide. The angling is actually kind of like this. So it's, as we're pulling back, we're kind of pulling up and back. So we need to follow the line, the natural path of the frame. So we're gonna loosen these two. If you're working in the stand, make sure everything's nice and tight. The, you know, the bike's not gonna tilt on you or move because we're gonna be using some pressure. So what I'm gonna do is I like, always like to have a, a hand on the wheel. So we're gonna loosen these bolts. Just enough, not a whole bunch, and I'm always holding the wheel. So this left hand is gonna trade with my right. So I'm holding the tool, switching hands. Now I got the tool in my left hand, continuing to pull back pressure towards my chest. And we're gonna loosen. These are just regular lefty Lucy, counterclockwise. And just a little bit of looseness. Put my tool down in your pocket or on your repair stand. And I'm gonna make sure that the wheel's loose enough. So I'm gonna see if it wants to move left and right. Yeah, so I can get the wheel to move left and right. So it's telling me my bolts are loose enough. Now I'm gonna pull back. So you might have to find somewhere on the frame where you can grab a part of the frame, pushing forward while you're this, my right arm is pulling back. So <clears throat> there's one more item that I forgot. So we need to loosen one more thing. Otherwise I'm not gonna have any effect on the chain. So right now the chain's still a little droopy. The other thing we need to loosen is our coaster brake. So our coaster brake right here, this is slotted area. It's an open slot, about that much space. That's our two 10 millimeter uh, bolts. So I'm using a wrench on the inside. And you could use your finger to match it on or you get your eyeballs in there to open it. We're gonna loosen it up. Don't need to take this bolt off all the way. We're just gonna get that bolt to where it jiggles. Right now the bolt's jiggling. So now I'm loose. Now I can go back and pull back on this wheel. So now I'm gonna go ahead and place my hand on a part of the bike frame right here. This is the chain stay. If I go up here, this is the seat stay because it's connected to the seat. This is the chain stay because it runs in line with the chain. So I'm gonna hold that, pull back with my right hand as hard as I can. And you could actually, I can hear and feel the chain just tightened up a little bit. I'm gonna give that a slight tap so the chain will relax. And now the chain has plenty of gap there. So right now the chain has lots of slop. Chain's very, like that is way too much movement right there. So again, I'm gonna brace the hand here. I'm gonna pull back on the wheel. And this chain just tightened up. So once you do that, now the trick is to keep that tension while you get your tool and start tightening your bolts. So this is one method here. The other method I'll show you. I'm gonna go ahead and create a little bit of slack there. The other method is you can use your left or right hand, come over in this area right over here where my fingers are. And in conjunction with the frame, you're, I'm using the frame for support. So both hands are gonna pull back. My left hand is actually pulling this way. And once I do that, then I'm able to steer the wheel because the wheel wants to go left or it wants to go right, which means the wheel is gonna either rub the frame on one side or the other. We want it to sit center in the middle of the frame. So this left hand can actually pull back as well as position the wheel. It just takes quite a bit of effort for that left hand to pull and hold tension. But I'm gonna go back to this other, I'm gonna pull back hard on my, with my right hand. 
And you wanna make sure the wheel is centered over here. We're not touching the frame. And then I'm gonna start tightening the bolt. I'm gonna tighten the bolt very gently on one side. If you tighten one side of the bolt too tight, it's gonna to wanna to steer the wheel to the left or to the right. And you'll have to practice this to see what's actually happening. So I'm tightening just a little bit. I don't want one side to overwhelm. I want that wheel to stay center in the frame. So just a little bit each time. And then, whoops, I just loosened. Once you feel that the bolts are tight enough to hold the wheel in place, I'm gonna come and check the chain over here. So I actually got the chain a little tighter than what it was before, so I'm happy with that. I'll be coming back over here. We're just, just a finger. We're just doing some gentle, gentle pushes. And then I'm gonna pinch it. So it's moving maybe about a half inch or so, so I'm happy with that. Should be the same all around. Now, to make sure this chain is not too tight, you're gonna to wanna to turn the crank and turn it. So right now the crank is in the 12 o'clock and they're gonna try it over in the three o'clock and then you're gonna test the chain. We just don't want the chain too tight or way too loose. There might be one spot that is one or the other. Turn the crank down in the six o'clock. So feeling pretty consistent here. And then nine o'clock, that got a little bit tighter but still enough movement to where it's not gonna have any binding. If the chain's too tight, you might have some binding, might make some noise. So a little bit of movement is okay. So all that's pretty good. And then you wanna to check to make sure your wheel's centered here. If I can stick my finger between the wheel and the frame, that's in good shape. Do the same thing over on the other side. It all depends how fat your fingers are or how fat the tire is. So you just want equal space right in these two areas right here. And you could also eyeball it up at the top to, at the seat today. So once all that looks good, so now we can come back and finish tightening these two bolts here. We want them pretty tight again. So same, same thing. We're just tightening a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely getting tight. And you want them equal. You're using quite a bit of muscle here. <clears throat> there we go. So all that's good. Double check the chain feels good. Good. Uh, we still have our shifter to mount back onto the bolt. Then we have our coaster bolt to connect. So we're gonna do this one next. To make sure your little spring is still in place. Remember this guy can come out all the way. And we're gonna be able to see the little window sitting on top, which is 12 o'clock position. And it needs to go sit directly on there. This guy's gonna come sit. Might have to kind of finagle a little bit. So that pin needs to go right into a small little slot on the inside. And so I'm having trouble. So I wanna make sure, if you're having trouble getting this on all the way, go ahead and hit your shifter. That might buy you some little more space. I'm gonna push the shifter forward and see if this helps. That actually helped, yeah. So I, that's probably gear one. So you're twisting the shifter forward. That actually bought me some space. And now I can go ahead and, now I'm using my these fingers here with my thumb pushing and I'm getting my left hand. So these fingers are locked here, this thumb is here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up this guy here. This three-way is kind of getting in the way I'm hitting the spoke, so I'm gonna grab my L tool. And this is a number four, so holding some, you know, gentle, firm pressure. Go ahead and tighten this, so oh, that's actually number five. So I'm gonna use the ball end to spin. That's actually kind of tough, all right. Tighten that guy, and this needs to be fairly firm. Once you feel good pressure there, turn it just a smidge more. You can actually use two fingers, make sure, give it a little twist, make sure it doesn't want to come off on its own. That should be in good shape there. 